the Chinese have announced that they're going to go to the moon. In fact, they will probably beat the United States. In the vast, unending expanse of our universe, a silent battle for lunar supremacy has raged for decades. On one side stand the giants of remote exploration, NASA, with its closely guarded secrets hidden deep within the desolate surface of the moon. On the other, a rising nation, India, relentless in its pursuit of lunar truth. What mysteries lie beneath the moon's surface that NASA has fiercely protected? Could India's Chandrayaan-3 mission hold the key to unraveling these enigmas that have eluded us for decades? Join us on this journey through Chandrayaan-3, the audacious mission that threatens to expose what NASA has concealed for far too long. Chandrayaan-3 marks India's triumphant third lunar voyage, boldly venturing towards the mysterious south pole of the moon. This audacious mission is a vital chapter in India's awe-inspiring space odyssey, which began in 1962 with the launch of a humble rocket from the fishing village of Thumba. Since those modest beginnings, India has spread its wings, sending an impressive convoy of satellites, rockets, and scientific probes into the universe. Today, it stands tall as a prominent spacefaring nation on the global stage. India's maiden lunar attempt, Chandrayaan-1, took its historic leap in 2008, gracefully dancing around the moon for nearly a full year, beaming back a treasure trove of invaluable data and alluring lunar views. But this mission held a curious twist. It carried a plucky lunar explorer known as the Moon Impact Probe. In its final moments, it made a groundbreaking discovery, the tantalizing presence of water molecules in the lunar atmosphere sparking waves of excitement and scientific wonder. In 2019, India embarked on its second lunar adventure, Chandrayaan-2. This remarkable mission comprised three vital components, an orbiter, a lander named Vikram, and a rover affectionately called Pragyan. While the orbiter continued to gracefully encircle our enigmatic moon, equipped with a cutting-edge high-resolution camera providing us with new lunar views, the lander and rover faced a heart-wrenching encounter with fate. Their intended destination was the South Pole, but destiny had other plans. During their dramatic descent, Earth lost contact with them, and they met a fateful landing on the lunar surface. But India refused to let go of its lunar aspirations. From the ashes of Chandrayaan-2 arose Chandrayaan-3, a rebirth, if you will. This mission essentially mirrors its predecessor, boasting the same lander and rover design. However, it carries crucial improvements and changes to ensure that India's dream of touching down at the South Pole of the Moon remains alive and well. On July 15, 2023, India's Satish Dhawan Space Center proudly sent forth Chandrayaan-3, embarking on an extraordinary lunar journey. It wasn't a quick dash to the moon, though. It took a month of graceful gliding through the universe's void before Chandrayaan-3 reached the moon's welcoming embrace. Once nestled in the moon's orbit, the spacecraft got busy executing a complex ballet of movements. These elegant dances, prepared with precision, adjusted its path and altitude, setting the stage for its grand finale on August 20th, 2023. A daring plunge toward the uncharted South Pole, a place untouched by any other spacecraft. The mission was far from easy, with a communication delay of three agonizing seconds between Earth and the moon. Chandrayaan-3 had to rely solely on its onboard computer and sensors to navigate the treacherous lunar landscape, avoiding jagged rocks and yawning craters. The South Pole region was a landscape deprived of light, perpetually bathed in twilight, making it even more challenging. Chandrayaan-3 had to rely on its solar panels and batteries to keep its instruments functioning, flexing its solar muscles to harness energy from the sun. Despite these daunting challenges, on that fateful August 20th, 2023, Chandrayaan-3 touched down near the South Pole, etching its name in the annals of lunar exploration. After safely landing on the lunar far side, the spacecraft swiftly transmitted its inaugural snapshot of this remote territory. Soon thereafter, it gracefully released its companion, the rover named Pragyan, which means wisdom in the ancient Sanskrit language. Just an hour after disembarking from the lander, both the lander and the rover initiated their scientific journey upon the lunar landscape Chandrayaan-3, with its unwavering mission, boasts two primary goals. First, to showcase India's prowess in executing soft lunar landings and deep moon traveling. Second, to delve into the realm of scientific exploration, uncovering the lunar environment's secrets and the hidden riches it conceals. 
To realize these ambitious aspirations, Chandrayaan-3 proudly carries a payload depot comprising 14 specialized instruments strategically positioned aboard both the lander and the rover. These cutting-edge instruments stand ready to unravel the lunar surface and its subsurface mysteries, diligently measuring variables such as temperature, radiation levels, magnetic activity, mineral composition, and the complex chemistry that sustains the lunar landscape. Aboard the lander, a critical payload known as Chastity, short for Chandra's Surface Thermophysical Experiment, boasts a slender rod-like probe capable of delving up to 10 centimeters into the lunar soil. This probe isn't merely taking temperature readings. It's painting a portrait of the moon's thermal landscape, revealing the hidden secrets of its underground world. But why is this data crucial? It's all about uncovering the moon's hidden treasures. By analyzing the information gathered by Chastity, scientists can make educated guesses about the depth at which water ice lies buried beneath the lunar soil. This isn't just any ice. It's the key to sustaining future lunar explorations and development. Chastity is helping us map the moon's treasures, revealing where and how much of this precious resource is waiting to be harnessed for our future endeavors beyond our own planet's confines. Aboard the lander, there's a crucial payload known as the Lunar Retro Reflector Array, LRA. This device boasts a set of eight mirrors, each with the remarkable ability to bounce laser beams back toward Earth or other spacecraft. It serves multiple functions, including precisely measuring the distance between Earth and the Moon, aiding in testing Einstein's theory of general relativity, and listening to low-frequency radio signals from the Moon's far side, offering clues about the Moon's origins and evolutionary journey. The rover, Pragyan, carries its own interesting gadgets, including the Alpha Particle X-ray Spectrometer, APXS. This device bombards lunar rocks and soil with alpha particles and X-rays, revealing their chemical composition and helping scientists identify minerals and elements on the lunar surface. Another tool on the rover is the Laser-Induced Breakdown Spectroscopy, LIBS, which wields a laser beam to analyze lunar materials, aiding in the identification of minerals and elements scattered across the lunar landscape. But there's more to this lunar mission. The spacecraft also carries a powerful laser for analyzing the moon's regolith, looking for elusive water ice and the composition of the moon's exosphere. Additionally, a specialized seismometer on the rover is ready to detect even the faintest moonquakes beneath the lunar surface. With bated breath, the Indian Space Agency confirmed that all systems on both the lander and the rover were performing as expected after the delicate landing. This could mean only one thing. The promise of thrilling discoveries was about to be realized, as if on cue, Chandrayaan-3 sprang to life, transmitting a treasure trove of exclusive data back to Earth. Almost immediately after the historic landing, scientists and space enthusiasts alike were rewarded with a cornucopia of information. As the lunar sun descended, marking the end of a long lunar day, the rover, having successfully completed its mission, was carefully put to rest, ready to greet another lunar day with its tireless spirit of exploration. Both the lander and the rover relied on sunlight to charge their batteries, so the space agency had a plan to revive them when the next lunar day dawned. The rover, known as Pragyan, had covered an impressive distance of 328 feet from the lander before going into its slumber. This journey was a remarkable achievement, considering its gentle pace of just one centimeter per second and the treacherous lunar terrain. What makes this even more remarkable is the rover's ingenious wheel mechanism called the rocker bogey. Unlike traditional wheels, all the wheels of the rover operate independently, allowing it to gracefully maneuver across the lunar surface, ascending and descending as needed to avoid treacherous craters. Imagine a remarkable scenario. A rover, not operating independently, but under the watchful guidance of a command center located in India. This command center acted as the rover's eyes on the moon, closely monitoring its every move. The only challenge was a minor delay in the images sent by the rover to the command center, introducing an edge-of-your-seat dimension to the mission. Now, let's delve into the treasure trove of discoveries that Chandrayaan-3 unveiled at the moon's mysterious South Pole. The lander, a marvel of technology, was equipped with a temperature probe featuring an array of 10 sensors, capable of delving up to 10 centimeters beneath the moon's surface. As the data trickled in, it painted a vivid picture of the moon's hidden secrets. 
it revealed a dramatic contrast in temperatures between the moon's surface and a depth of four inches, hinting at secrets hidden just beneath the moon's freezing exterior. The moon's surface, with its temperature ranging from a scorching 60 degrees Celsius on the surface to a bone-chilling 10 degrees Celsius just three inches beneath, presented a realm of temperature extremes. In certain craters, temperatures even plummeted to a staggering minus 250 degrees Celsius. However, the data gathered by Chandrayaan-3 introduced a delightful twist to the moon's temperature story. It suggested that the moon's surface isn't the ideal spot for water ice to remain stable, as water prefers temperatures below minus 160 degrees Celsius in the vacuum of space. But there's still hope. Hidden beneath the lunar crust, deep beneath the surface, water ice might still exist, patiently waiting to be discovered. The moon's dramatic temperature swings also revealed a fascinating aspect of lunar bedrock. This topsoil is an excellent insulator, similar to what we experience on a scorching day at the beach. When we dig just a few centimeters down, we notice that the sand stays cooler. This lunar bedrock acts as a thermal shield, protecting potential water ice hidden beneath from the searing heat on the moon's surface. Chandrayaan-3 also made a remarkable discovery when it identified sulfur on the moon's surface. The rover, equipped with a laser detector, scanned the surface for chemicals and found a diverse array, including aluminum, calcium, iron, chromium, titanium, manganese, and even oxygen. But the standout discovery was sulfur, an element suspected to exist on the moon since the 1970s. What sets this discovery apart is that the rover found sulfur right on the moon's surface itself, not tucked away in minerals or crystals. This finding is compelling evidence supporting the theory that the moon's surface was once submerged in a sea of molten rock before cooling and solidifying into the moon we know today. Moreover, sulfur's presence hints at another treasure hidden beneath the lunar surface, water ice. Sulfur's role in lunar exploration may extend further than we can currently divine, paving the way for exciting developments. Chandrayaan-3 might have struck gold with its latest discovery. The Vikram lander had a sensor that could detect tiny moonquakes or other vibrations. It sensed a small shiver that lasted about four seconds. This electrifying revelation opens doors to a world of fresh possibilities, allowing researchers to inspect the moon with newfound enthusiasm and a treasure trove of hypotheses. When Vikram turned its scientific eye toward the moon's ionosphere, what it discovered was truly captivating. This electrically charged plasma layer, about 100 kilometers thick, encloses the lunar surface near the South Pole. Initial measurements revealed a density of around 5 million to 30 million electrons per cubic meter, making it easier to transmit radio signals through compared to Earth's ionosphere. The spacecraft also carried a powerful laser for analyzing the moon's regolith and looking for water ice. Additionally, a specialized seismometer on the rover was ready to detect even the faintest moonquakes beneath the lunar surface. In a foreign land, ER embarked on an audacious mission, the HOP experiment. Its task was to engage its engines and gracefully leap from its current landing site to an entirely new location. To everyone's amazement, the lander soared upward by an impressive 40 centimeters, then gracefully bounced, covering a distance of 30 to 40 centimeters. This experiment's success demonstrated that the spacecraft had the capacity not only to retrieve lunar samples, but also to carry humans on future missions. Chandrayaan-3 unveiled a treasure trove of secrets, leaving us excited about the boundless discoveries awaiting us in the universe.